What's up guys? Jeff here uh, with Godbolt Exotics. Um, I don't really know why I'm filming today. I just kind of, I haven't done a video in a while, so I figured I would. Um, this whole side here is going to have animal plastics cages here pretty soon, but I figured I might take out a few things I don't normally take out and show you guys. Um, I think these guys just ate, but this, this is a Tessera corn. Um, really, really clean. This animal is actually opaque. You can see a big bulge in its stomach, so I'm probably going to put it back, but I've got a pair of these. They're possible hets for something else. I don't know. I'm not a corn snake guy. Um, the uh, this one is the female. She just ate two, but she is not in shed. Um, so she's got a little more color, but look at the stripe. I mean, it's like perfect. Um, I'm not a huge morph guy, but supposedly this morph has been bred into the Okatee. So these are actually Okatee, um, to Sarah, and then some type of possible het for all, some type of albinism. I don't remember what. Um, I'm not a, oh, got a head in there. I'm not a corn snake guy, so I just call them to Sarah's because that's what I bought them for. Um, and they are so mad at me right now. Let's see, what else do I want to take out? Put some stuff I haven't taken out in a while. Um, eh, let's see here. This is, to, I'm totally winging it right now. Um. Probably one of my favorite Amazon tree boas. You guys know how I feel about the bicolors. Uh, let me make sure this is filming okay. Yeah, it is. All right. You guys know how much I like the bicolors. Well, this is a female that I have. Uh, really, really, really pretty. Uh, no black scales whatsoever. Um, put her back. I have actually a male to go um, with her get him this is the boy really really unique kind of a not a barren but it's like an oscillated uh, pattern on the back which is one of the things I love so much about this animal but really really cool uh, this is the male um, and then I've got actually a sub-adult female down in one of these cages down here behind me and she's um, a good bit bigger. Let me, you know what? I'm not gonna take her out. Let me, let's switch gears. I'll show you something else. Um, what do I wanna do? I have not shown you guys these guys in a while. Um, and they are actually getting pretty big. These are my red tail green rats. So my Ganya Soma. Um, I have a male and a female. They don't ever bite at me. Um, but they do, you know, puff their throats out whenever they're a little agitated, but they typically calm down. You just have to be really, really, I guess, kind of slow and deliberate with your movements with them because they're so alert. Um, I mean, when I miss their tubs because they're a rainforest animal, um, I have to miss it on the part that doesn't, that they're not at, because if the mist touches them, they will just go berserk and, and shoot out of the tub. And I'm telling you, when these snakes hit the ground, they are fast, really fast. Um, but otherwise, not a particularly defensive snake um, as their, uh, kind of their reputation. Um, makes people think. Uh, now these are captive born, so these are not wild caught, but uh, this one's actually a little opaque right now, but I have Amazon tree boas. I have, uh, my diamonds pythons are probably the most defensive snakes I have in my collection. So um, anyway, this is one. I'm gonna try and grab the other one as well. This is the male. Um, this is always the fun part, trying to get the very alert 
species to go in their tubs. They're not nearly as bad as my Phrynonax, my Neotropical bird snakes, but um, all right. So you just kind of kind of start them a little bit so they get out of their tub and then they're long enough you can just kind of grab them. But this is my female. She's not opaque at all. Again, they puff their throats out, but you know, this animal hasn't tried to bite me yet. Just again, slow, methodical in your movements, uh, be confident. And um, we kind of, we're developing an understanding and that is that I'm trying to teach this animal that I, through slow, small, like infrequent, not super infrequent, but like I'm not doing it every day, but maybe once a week, I will take both of these animals out. I'll kind of handle them a little bit like this for probably less than five minutes. And I just do that repetitively with them. And the animals have never struck at me or anything. The most they'll do is they'll puff their throats a little bit, but as long as I'm small, uh, I'm slow in my movements and everything, these guys are totally fine. You know, like this animal knows now that I'm not a threat. I'm not going to hurt it. Um, they are very alert. And my personal belief is that some of these really alert colubrids, I feel like there's a little bit more of an intelligence there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just that they metabolize so much quicker. And so they're just always looking and more alert. But these animals key in on movement, um, as well as the other senses, much better than the boas and pythons I've seen. So anyway, these are Ganyasoma. I can't pronounce the last part of that. Red tail green rats. Um, I love the obscure stuff. I'm going to try and get this girl back in her tub. They're just starting to get that red tail. It's already starting to come in. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, still got uh, tr my trio of these um, and they're growing and eating. Probably one of the coolest, most weird, obscure snakes I have are my little baby rough scale uh, sand boas or conicus. This is one of the females and then I have a male. Um, but they've already eaten for me a few times. Uh, this animal did refuse last night, so I don't know why that is. But um, really, really uh, cool little snakes, little boas. It's pretty neat uh, that you can have, you know. And these guys, as adults, do not, I mean, females are like that. So, um, well, that's pretty much it. Um... I just was going to check in with you guys. Uh, I've got a couple other things I've got tucked away, but I just figured I'd, you know, step in and say hi. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. And I do need to do an Amazon update because um, I was thinking about doing something to where uh, I was just going to show like what I'm pairing up this year. So that would be kind of cool, I guess. The fun part is finding time to do it because I'm working like crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Godbolt Exotics, check it out. Bye.